Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Lind. Hyperthyroidism is another symptom of a thyroid problem. Hyperthyroidism is an increase in output of the thyroid gland, and it's measured by the markers TSH, T4 and T3. If TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, which comes from the pituitary, is very low, we call that a hyperthyroid. In other words, the feedback loop up into the, from the hypothalamus into the pituitary, the pituitary sense, senses that the thyroid's functioning maybe too fast or too much. And so it's trickling out TSH in very low amounts. I've seen TSH, remember the optimal ranges are 1.8 to 3.0. So anything below 1.8 is considered, well, laboratory ranges go down, all the way down to 0.5, which is very, very low output TSH. But when you're getting in that range, you, you have a relative hyperthyroid, a hyperfunctioning thy, thyroid. And some of the symptoms are rapid heart rate and uh, anxiety, tension, it's, because the thyroid's working too much, too, far, too fast. Um, and it's also related to adrenal system adrenal gland output. Remember the adrenal system is adrenaline. It's the sympathetic nervous system that runs fight or flight reactions. Um, when your eyes are dilated, your heart rapid, uh, rapid heart rate, you get sweaty. Those are adrenal symptoms, but they're also very similar to hyperthyroid symptoms. Now, what's a remedy? Well, you can take medication to calm down the thyroid if that's the true cause of it. But there's all kinds of other influences that increase the thyroid output. It could be a problem inherent with the thyroid gland. Um, it could be some kind of a tumor or growth inside the tissue. Or it could be a malfunctioning pituitary gland. It could be a feedback loop from the hypothalamus, which is part of the brain. In any case, we get a lot of uh, output from the, tia, from the thyroid gland. But remember, you have to measure the T4 output and the T3 output from the thyroid as well. Those all are relative to the TSH. So I hope I'm not confusing the issue. In other words, low TSH is a hyperthyroid. And the symptoms related to hyperthyroid are rapid heart rate, anxiety, uh, just a, a fast running metabolism. Weight, the weight uh, gain or loss can be in any range, it could be a lot of weight gain or, or not much weight gain at all. That's interdependent on the other metabolisms, systems that are going on in the body. So again, you have to measure thyroid output. You have to really look at adrenal output. You have to find out the blood sugar metabolism. You have to find out the fatty acid synthesis. They all work together. Hyperthyroidism is a fast functioning thyroid that really needs, it's crying out for help to calm down the whole system. Um, so this is a, a, a series on uh, thyroid functions, hyperthyroidism, we talked about hypothyroid, uh, which is the opposite, and there are many other conditions of the thyroid in which I'll talk to you in subsequent interviews. So this is Dr. Peter Lynn. I hope you've gained a lot of valuable information, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.